welcome and thank you for being here today. This is a really important day for the National Comedy Center, a really important day for comedy in general. The Smothers Brothers started their career 60 years ago, and 50 years ago were fired by CBS for pushing the boundaries of what was considered permissible on network television. The way I see it and the way that I teach it, the Smothers Brothers are the pivot point of television in the 1960s. Fifty years later, I look back on us being fired and I'm still pissed off. Well, sit down. <laughs> All the sitcoms, the variety shows, were trying to distract people from thinking. And then all of a sudden you have the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and it wants people to think. It was huge and it was spectacularly subversive in a splendid way. We wanted to have a, a show that was universal and we wanted to entertain. We're entertainers. And uh, slowly uh, CBS said, well, you can't do this word or you can't. Uh, Pat Paulson came out and he said, you know, uh, Ronald Reagan uh, is a known heterosexual. Historically, it was important. We didn't know it at the time because we were in the, at the scene of the accident. Now, Ho Chi Minh sure ain't no friend that's playing for all to see. And I know someone's got a fight over there, but why does it have to be me? Laughing, but fighting against oppression and the wealthy and the people. And authority. That, that, that authority. It's all of that. The laughter is within that. That's what makes it rich. CBS announced today that the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour will not return to the CBS television network next season. But the brothers, quote, were unwilling to accept the criteria of taste established by CBS. It was inappropriate, but now it seems ludicrous that that was their defense. We get a lot of complimentary letters, but uh, we get a lot of uh, derogatory letters saying that we are uh, communists, um, pinkos, and those are the good letters. <laughs> if you like it so much, why don't you go to Ho Chi Minh and hang out with the... Uh... Can you believe the president today saying the same thing to, to congresswomen? You don't like this country, kind of leave it. Don't fix it. Don't criticize it. Don't try to make it. They were saying to us, too. We got That's letters the same saying. thing they said to, to us. Do you have something important? Something very important to say on American television. You know, we don't, we, a lot of times we can't, we don't have opportunity saying anything important because it's American television. Every time you say something, they try to say something important, they, uh, what I love most about the Smothers Brothers is the platform that they gave to so many other people. They passed on the baton. What they were doing was just telling the truth. And a lot of the times that's really all you got to do. The right to, uh, for us not to allow even to give our viewpoints to other people who are interested in hearing it is uh, contrary, I think, to the principle of, uh, of our country and to the principle that sure. makes the world go round. We're so happy that we're part of the museum the National Comedy Center. What an incredible institution to put together. The National Comedy Center is not just a museum. It's a living, breathing cultural institution that tells the story of comedy. This is not just a curated museum. This is a, this is a written and structured and polished museum. Comedy has always been never considered serious art. And it is serious art. Today really was a wonderful example of our mission. And being the cultural institution responsible for telling the vital story of comedy in America and preserving it for future generations, I can't think of a better way to do so than honoring the Smothers Brothers, the 50th anniversary of their firing by CBS, and telling that story in exhibit form here at the National Comedy Center. People come to this and it's living in its presence. It celebrates laughter. What a great tribute, to, and we're glad to be part of it. The war in Vietnam keeps on a raging. Blacks and whites still haven't worked it out. Pollution, guns, and poverty surround us. No wonder everybody's dropping out. But we're still here. Oh, yeah, we're still here. We face the same old problem. But we're still here.